Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. Let's see what we have here today for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Libra, please, Spirit. Tell me about Libra, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Okay. So we have the Three of Swords here, Libra. Okay. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands. So, Le uh, excuse me, I was about to say Leo. So, Libra, this could be your side. This could be your person side. Libra, there is somebody here that needs to make a decision. I feel like someone here isn't sure what decision to make, or someone here has a lot of options. Um, and with the Nine of Wands, they're avoiding making this decision, Libra. Okay, someone here has to, now this could also be a decision to break someone's heart. Okay, so Libra, this could be maybe you wanting to block somebody and leave somebody and break their heart and you're just not sure how to do it. Okay, or this could be someone that has you in a third party situation that's treating you like an option and they're not sure if they should block you or block others. Um, this is just a lot of insecurity and way too many people uh, in the picture. Okay, there's just way too many people in this situation. Here. Let's, let's clarify this. Spirit, what messages do we have here for Libra, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Libra, please. We've got the Star card, Aquarian Energy, and we have the Eight of Wands. Libra, this is somebody who wants to talk to multiple people. This is somebody who wants to have sex with multiple people um, and give nothing in return. And give nothing in return. This is a very selfish energy. Um, tell me about the Two of Wands here for Libra, please. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Someone here is trying to decide who they want to offer commitment to or who they want to start a life with here, but they're not sure who to cut out or who to choose. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please, for Libra. We've got the Ten of Swords. They don't know who to cut off. Someone here has so many options that they don't know who to choose, who to cut off, who to end things with. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Libra. And the Eight of Pentacles. Someone here knows that they have to cut something out and put their full time and attention into working on one thing. They just don't know what to do. They don't know who to choose. They don't know who to invest in. They don't know which one is going to be the right one. So what they're going to do is they're just going to keep playing games and being selfish and doing whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because they just don't know who to choose. That could be you, Libra. That could be your person. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Libras, please? Tell me about Libra, please. Tell me about Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Okay, so under the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Hermit in the Reverse, Virgo Energy. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Five of Wands, and we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Libra, I feel like the person on this side is trying to put forth an offer for a Ten of Pentacles. Like, I want a life with you, I want a future with you, I want to have it all with you, and I'm willing to work with you to achieve this, okay? But I feel like someone's getting tired of putting this offer on the table. They're getting bored, uh, they're feeling rejected, feeling lonely in the connection. With the Hermit in the Reverse and the Five of Wands, this is an energy of fights breaking out 
out because somebody is tired of being in the dark. Someone is tired of not knowing because the hermit goes forward to gain enlightenment, right? And I feel like with the hermit in the reverse, this is somebody who's still in an energy of remaining in the dark. And with the five of wands, I feel like someone's tired of it. They're tired of being jealous. They're tired of, tired of being treated as an option. They're tired of dealing with competition. They're tired of feeling unsafe or insecure. And with the four of swords and the king of swords, I feel like there's an energy of, I need to know the truth. What's happening here? I'm tired of sitting around, constantly having to heal myself and recover from all the fighting that's taking place. I'm tired of being hurt. Somebody here wants the truth. Someone's getting serious. Someone is no longer operating from a place of emotion, but now it's a place of logic. Someone here is stepping up to the plate, seeing the truth for what it is and wanting answers. Okay. And wanting answers. So let's see. Spirit, tell me about the hermit in the reverse for Libra. Tell me about the hermit in the reverse for Libra, please. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Are you choosing me or not? Is a decision going to be made here? What is happening? Tell me about the five of wands here for Libra, please. The five of wands for Libra, please. We've got the seven of cups in the reverse. I don't want to be treated as an option. I don't want to wake up every morning having no idea what's going on. I don't want to be confused anymore. I don't want to live a lie anymore. Okay, I, I'm just tired of this. Someone here is starting to emotionally disconnect or unhinge from this connection. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please, for Libra. Tell me about the Four of Swords for Libra. We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Someone here is tired of somebody coming and going, making moves only for their own best interest, acting irresponsible. Someone is tired of a person that just pursues their own lust and their own interests, okay? Because the King, the, excuse me, the Knight of Wands, um, a lot of people like say a, a player, I'm not really sure if it's an energy of a player. It's just somebody who wants to be free to do whatever they want to do. And obviously that type of energy is hurting this person. Okay. Tell me about the King of Swords, please. The King of Swords, please, for Libra. Yeah, Three of Swords. Someone here wants, is tired of having their heart broken. Someone here is ready to cut the situation out. They want to know the truth. Are you choosing me? Or is this staying a third party situation? Are you going to continue to break my heart because I'm done? I'm putting forth an offer, a very big offer. Do you want to take it or not? Because I'm getting tired. Yeah, someone here is, is starting to make a, they're, they're realizing that it's time to make a final decision here, a very big and final decision here. They're realizing that this is toxic. They're chained to something very negative. And with the death card here, someone here wants change or they want to end this. Either there's going to be major shifts and transformations in this connection or it's done. You know what I'm saying? Or it's done. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about the challenge here for Libra. Tell me about the challenge here for Libra, please. Five of Swords. Tell me about the challenge here for Libra, please. Okay. So we have the Five of Swords. We've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. So Libra, the... the challenge here is that somebody has to make a decision with the judgment card sagittarian energy the page of wands can be an energy of somebody who just makes promises in the passion of the moment they do not you know those are promises that could fizzle out very quickly libra and with that five of swords energy it comes off as mind games okay it comes off as mind games and with the nine of swords and the knight of swords someone here is really going through it someone here is really being stressed out, not sleeping, having nightmares, overthinking, anxiety, and worry, because with the Knight of Swords energy, one minute this person is rushing in, one minute they're rushing out, one minute they're making promises, one minute they have no idea what you said, and it all kind of seems like one big mind effery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it just, it just seems a lot like a lot of games, and that's the challenge here, okay? 
the challenge is, see the judgment card? That's making a final decision. The challenge here is that someone is not making a final decision as to what they want to do. Tell me about the outcome here, please, Spirit. The outcome here for Libra. The outcome for Libra, please. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. We have the Sun card in the reverse. Leo energy. Libra, here's the problem. Okay, let me tell you what the problem is. Somebody is living in the ego. Okay, Libra, this could be an energy of you keep taking this person back and not seeing the truth, or you keep taking this person back and ending up very unhappy because you want this kind of pentacles with this person. Maybe you've invested a lot of time, a lot of energy. You've had a lot of promises made to you. You want this outcome. With the six of wands and the tower, you want victory with this person, but it keeps on failing. It keeps on failing. And what happens is the more times you keep trying with this person, the more you're investing. And the more time you're investing, the more you're investing emotionally, the more you're investing passionately, and the more you're getting nothing in return. And with the moon card, I feel like you're not listening to your intuition. You're walking around blind. Okay, you're walking around blind. I feel like you keep taking this person back because you want to win. You want the victory. And that's okay. That's, a, that's normal, okay? When you put a lot into it, that's like, you know, you walk to the store, you pay for something, you know, you want to leave with what you pay for, right? It's completely natural. So Libra, you're, all you want is, you know, re, to be recompensated for all the time, energy, and love you've put into the situation. But Spirit is telling you that this is just a waste of time. You keep putting time and energy, you keep investing, and the more you invest, the more time you're investing, the more love, the more passion, the more, you know what I'm saying? The the more that ego steps in with you wanting to win and boom you constantly end up losing with this person you constantly end up losing with this person so let's see here clarity guidance love messages for my libras please clarity guidance love messages so we've got your higher self stuck energy and new and supportive connections. So what's happening here, Libra, is you're not operating from your highest self. You're staying stuck in this low vibrational place. And what's happening is it's blocking you from meeting somebody new that could actually give you that love that you deserve. Okay? I feel like your angels want to bring in... They want to bring in something new. They want to bring in this new beginning that you deserve, Libra. Okay, but what's happening is you're operating from a place of fear. Do I really want to let this go after I've put so much time and energy into it? You're scared of starting all over again, Libra. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Libra. So we've got caring connection, we've got storm warning, we've got broken heart, and we've got walking away. Libra, there may be a strong soul tie between this you and this person. There may be a lot of love between you and this person. This may be one of those situations, Libra, where when this person acts right, it's really, really amazing. But the problem is, is that the tower always falls here. There's always trouble in paradise. You always end up with a broken heart with this person, Libra. You're constant, and that's why it's time for you to walk away. Okay, you're constantly ending up in pain here, constantly. And there's other options for you, Libra, other options that would bring fairness, other options that would treat you correctly, that would value you, okay, that would value you. You just have to give it a chance. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras. We've got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Libra you know there's again there's that that ego energy and we all have ego all of us libra there's nothing wrong with admitting that i've been there myself i have been there myself um as a matter of fact if you go to the bottom of in the description box if you go to my channel divine spirit healing 1111 i actually have a reading about how to handle third party situations or situations like this and what happens is the ego takes over libra and you want to win you may not even you may think you love somebody and you don't even really love them it's just the fact that you want to win you want to win finances and career you may have invested financially in this connection put a lot of work into this connection 
and it's hard to just let it go. But Spirit is telling you to heal, to free yourself, okay, to free yourself, because that is the only thing you put out good karma in the universe, and it's going to come back to you. It just may not come back the way you want it to. It may come back with another person, okay? All right, guys, I love you, and take care. Bye.